NASA is developing nuclear propulsion systems that could make interplanetary travel faster, safer, and more efficient than ever before. Two cutting-edge technologies are leading the charge. Nuclear Thermal Propulsion NTP, which could cut travel time to Mars in half, and Nuclear Electric Propulsion NEP, which offers unparalleled efficiency for deep space missions. Even more exciting, NASA's Marvell project aims to assemble these propulsion systems in space, breaking free from traditional rocket limitations. But how do these technologies work, and what do they mean for the future of space exploration? Let's dive in. One of the biggest obstacles in sending humans to Mars is the time it takes to get there. Traditional chemical rockets require six to nine months for a one-way trip, exposing astronauts to harmful radiation, psychological strain, and logistical challenges. Nuclear Thermal Propulsion NTP, could be the solution, potentially reducing this travel time by up to 50%. Instead of relying on chemical combustion, NTP uses a nuclear reactor to superheat hydrogen turning it into an ultra-fast propellant that produces much higher thrust than conventional engines. Recently, General Atomic's Electromagnetic Systems, in collaboration with NASA, made a major breakthrough by successfully testing a new NTP reactor fuel. This fuel was subjected to six extreme thermal cycles, reaching 4,220 degrees Fahrenheit, 2,600 K, using hot hydrogen gas. The results were groundbreaking, the fuel withstood the harsh conditions of space travel, proving its viability for future missions. This success marks a critical step toward building a fully functional nuclear-powered spacecraft. Beyond speed, NTP offers additional benefits. It requires significantly less propellant than chemical rockets, allowing for more cargo capacity and mission flexibility. Additionally, the ability to maneuver more efficiently in deep space could open the door for advanced exploration beyond Mars. However, challenges remain, particularly in radiation shielding, fuel safety, and integration with existing spacecraft. While engineers are working to overcome these hurdles, the successful fuel tests signal that we're closer than ever to seeing nuclear-powered rockets take flight. While NTP provides high thrust for rapid travel, Nuclear electric propulsion takes a different approach, trading speed for long-term efficiency. Instead of expelling heated propellants like NTP, NEP converts nuclear energy into electricity, which is then used to accelerate ionized gas particles to generate thrust. Though this method produces far less force, it can be sustained for months or even years, making it ideal for deep space missions and carrying heavy payloads. NASA's Marvell project, Modular Assembled Radiators for Nuclear Electric Propulsion Vehicles, is a game-changer in this field. One of the biggest challenges with NEP is heat management. A nuclear reactor generates intense heat, which must be dissipated efficiently to keep the system stable. Traditional radiator systems are massive, requiring them to be folded up into a rocket fairing for launch, which limits their size and effectiveness. Marvell solves this by designing modular heat dissipation systems that can be assembled in space by robots. By launching smaller radiator components separately and assembling them autonomously in orbit, Marvell removes size constraints, allowing for more efficient and powerful designs. This method also increases scalability, meaning NASA can add or replace components as needed, making future missions more adaptable. With both NTP and NEP showing promising advancements, the next step is to test these technologies in real space missions. NASA and DARPA, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, are already working on a prototype nuclear propulsion system, aiming for a 2027 test mission. This would mark the first real-world demonstration of nuclear propulsion beyond Earth, a major milestone in space travel history. If successful, nuclear propulsion could redefine human spaceflight. A round-trip Mars mission that once took three years could be completed in just two, making extended exploration more practical and less risky. Astronauts would be exposed to less radiation, experience shorter isolation periods, and have greater mission flexibility. In addition, nuclear propulsion could support future lunar bases, allowing for sustained human presence on the moon as a stepping stone to deep space. International collaboration will be crucial. 
Space agencies like ESA, Roscosmos, and private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin could all play a role in developing next-generation nuclear propulsion systems. However, public perception and regulatory challenges remain a concern. Nuclear technology in space must be handled with extreme safety protocols, and governments will need to establish clear guidelines to ensure responsible use. NASA's advancements in NTP, NEP, and MARVEL are laying the foundation for a new era of space travel. The successful NTP fuel tests prove that nuclear-powered rockets could cut Mars travel time, making human missions more feasible. Meanwhile, NEP and MARVEL's modular system could power long-duration deep space missions with minimal fuel. With space demonstrations planned by 2027, nuclear propulsion is closer than ever to transforming interplanetary travel bringing us one step closer to humanity's first nuclear-powered voyage to Mars. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.